So, IPTV operators gone to prison. Big sentences, big case, worrying case, because one of the part of it, as well as the set TV case before, they're still pushing, 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 trying to get their user list. What does this mean to you? Do you sell IPTV? File link codes are shutting down left and right. A lot of people are asking me, am I shutting my code down? Well, I'm not shutting my code down because I'm not breaking any laws whatsoever because I don't host any files on my file linked. Uh What's up, YouTube? IPTV sellers, stream bot sellers, they're getting the boot. Some of them going to jail. We'll discuss what it all means for the streaming industry, stream YouTubers, and the future of streams and what you can do to protect yourself and maybe start looking at some legitimate streams. If you're finding me for the first time, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you are down every time we drop a life gains video. What are life gains? Helping you improve the quality of your life. We do that through fitness, technology, money saving, and money making. Also, join me on my Patreon if you really, really enjoy my content. It's a way to help keep us monetized. Let's jump into the video. In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, but to fail all the same. What's good, YouTube? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful, just damn all everything. These people is coming at the folks in the streaming community, throwing bitches in jail, and we're gonna talk about it. But first, I gotta put on the plus seven glasses of sexy as hell, work on skilling up this craft, giving you a better YouTube experience, something better to look at. If you like any of my gear, you like reading my blogs, be sure to keep going over to shoplifegains.com. You can see my gear, you can read the blogs, and I've got a blog up on this particular situation we're talking about. And ladies and gentlemen, different policing organizations are going after people worldwide. Hasn't really hit much in America, but in other places, they're going after folks in this streaming community. And one thing that I've talked to up with other YouTubers behind the scenes is, You've got to do more on your channel than just streaming. Now they laughed at me, some of them, and some of them understood what I'm saying. There are some big YouTubers that started out doing coded that are doing shit like reviews for cell phones, other apps and stuff, because some of the things that we talked about, I told them it was gonna happen. And that is, they're gonna start chasing down some of these add-ons and APKs that are not gonna work. There are times when I would put a video up at noon, and by 6 p.m. it's not working, People get on your YouTube and are mad at you. I don't have anything to do with APK, it's functionality or anything on that. I'm just reporting it. And so now YouTubers are starting to see it. So my man Tech Doctor has an APK store up, had to take it down. Um, over across seas, three people that own an IPT service operation going to jail convicted. One of them going for two years. The other one, he's gonna do a year and a half and the federal organizations that got them are asking for their email list, their contact list, and all that good stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, be careful out there. I've said a long time ago in one of my videos that if they ask you to sign up, just be leery of giving them a real email, make up something, and really be leery of giving them bank account information, credit card information, Go get you a rush car, a prepaid, something else like that, if you're gonna do that. And this is why, because I don't know, and I don't think that there's gonna be a capacity to come after end users, because how the hell do you know whether or not the service is legit, you know? But individuals associated with the organization working to make it grow, yeah, they're probably gonna put some pressure on them to keep learning and digging how they can go further into these operations. Now, this didn't happen in America, this was overseas. But what did happen in America, which I blogged on, was Dish has gone after three big stores in New York 
that were selling Cody boxes, quote unquote. Now you guys know Cody itself is a nonprofit organization. They don't have anything to do with quote unquote piracy, all that. They just have a platform. Developers get up there and make access to add-ons to give you the content that is copyrighted or whatever. And so they went after these people in New York and we'll be interested to see what happens from them going after these stores. They basically sent them some letters, told them to shut their ass down, quit doing what they're doing, and that was it. So for the most part, a lot of what we have seen in this cracking down hasn't really hit in America because it's still a gray area, a very fine gray area. But other countries, the gray area is just black and white for them. It ain't like that here. And I'm gonna shout out some YouTubers, Doc Squiffy, um, New Tech, my boy Touch Tone, Review Dort, um, Solo, all these guys that have reported on this thing to let you know what is going on. And I also want to say this to you guys who are YouTubers, who follow these YouTubers, watch some of their other content. These guys are doing other things on their channel other than just streaming. Some of them are, you know. I have a lot of followers that came to me not because of streaming, but because of all the stuff I'm doing on my channel. You know, if you really like the content provider, see if you can find some common ground, some of that other content that they're pushing. And shout out the uh, Top Tutorials as well. They do a good job, and he's starting to venture out in some other content as well. Follow them for that stuff. And so I just want you guys to be very careful when you see these IPTV services coming out. Um, I'm going to start doing some reviews on legit services that don't cost much. It might not get you a whole lot, but they can help if you're really leery of having your information out there and being compromised by some of the IPTV services that keep crashing. Because once you give them your money, especially if you pay for like three months up front, if they go down, you're stuck. You know, you lost your money. And I want you guys to still be able to make an informed decision. I want you guys to still be able to cut the cost without having to worry about security crackdowns and all that good stuff. So I think that we've made a big enough dent in this entertainment industry that prices have come down of course i would love to see prices come down more but because of you youtubers developers especially and all the people that have been fighting to get these things to come down that have fought these crony capitalists we have seen some changes but guys don't expect much to happen as far as improvement into the underground streams you're probably just going to see more and more people under the That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. Go check out shoplifegames.com. That's the blog. Um, go check out Torrent Freak. They do a good job of keeping updated on all these stories that are coming out. I know for my Patreon, you really, really want to support this channel. Help me keep bringing you this content. And until the next Sex is Hell video, I'll see you.